I'm gonna show everybody kind of how to do a beef heart mix a little bit show you the ingredients and stuff that I use uh, you get your blender uh, zucchini this is scallops and um, shrimp egg yolk baby spinach beef heart which that's one one heart that thing makes a bunch garlic and uh, you just blend it all together make a paste with it um, put it in a bag I need a bag I need bags put it in a bag and flatten it out and uh, stick it in your freezer and freeze it and that's it and this will make probably two hundred and fifty dollars worth of food probably that if you were to go buy it in the damn store you know they charge you an arm and a leg for it so it's uh, more economical better to do it this way and I have not put up a video in months but these guys are doing good damn light burned out on me um, need a new one uh, but these guys are doing good getting getting pretty damn big and that last time we were <clears throat> I've shown you guys angelfish and doing all that and well here is the babies all grown up pretty much all those and they're actually a couple of them paired off and were uh, laid eggs up here but I just leave them in there because I, I don't need any more of these guys <laughs> obviously um, but yeah there was uh, probably about a hundred maybe a little over a hundred that uh, came out of those parents that I, I had showed before <coughs> and now Dun, da, da, da. those are 100% wild from Brazil they're absolutely gorgeous and it is a pair so really hoping that they uh, spawn I actually I just got them yesterday so obviously they're not gonna spawn right this second uh, it'll probably be a while but uh, when they do spawn, these guys will be up for sale. The the F1 Fry will uh, be up for sale when they are um, certain certain size or what have you. About about two 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 or three inches or so. But yeah, check them out, man. They're beautiful, ain't they? Absolutely amazing. So they're 100% wild. Um, got these guys from uh, Jack Watley. Uh, if you you know if you're a fish person you know exactly who that is uh, but these guys are absolutely gorgeous so <clears throat> that's that of course there's the a-hole what's up bud But, you know, these guys are doing good. Blue diamond, a couple of pigeon bloods. That one's getting big, man. They're all three female. She got some peppering on her face and upper back of this a little bit. That one's got a little bit. Hopefully I can breed that out of them, though. I'm just use. Uh, I'm not going to tell everybody what, what you can use to breed it out of them. You figure it out. <laughs> Oh, sweetheart. You want some food? I know. You see it? <laughs> but let's see if we can um, see if uh, we can do this real quick.
Alright. Take some chunks of your, your beef heart. Throw them in here. Try not to break it. I usually do about two every time I mix. <clears throat> A couple of uh, zucchini pieces, some uh, scallop. So let's try it. Oh, it's meat garlic. Duh. We need a little bit of garlic. Um, the garlic helps with uh, parasites. It, uh, it also gets them extremely interested in the, uh, in the food. They can smell it, taste it in the water. So, oh, I got spinach this time too. Baby spinach, I forgot all about that. There is some spinach. It's got folic acids in it. That's good for, uh, say, fry production, and uh, it's actually just good for the good for the fish. Obviously, it's good for you. It's good for the fish. good too. You're just gonna make a make a basically a paste man. paste. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but just mix paste and like I said, this right here will probably do I don't know, three or four of these these uh, sandwich bags. And go buy some beef heart about that size in the uh, in the pet store and see how much they charge people. It's uh, eight to ten bucks. Now you see all that that I showed you? That's going to make Jeez, the last one I did made over, uh, I think it was like 16 or 17 bags. So that's $160, $170 worth of food. I have more ingredients now uh, than I did the last time. So this is going to be, like I said, $250 worth of food easy. So that's, uh, that's, that's how I'm rolling. From here on out, 
and I've done this for a very, very long time, so. <clears throat> I don't, uh, I don't like pet store foods. I don't like the pellets and whatnot, and they're not bad. I'm not downing them, but look at the ingredients uh, sometime. You know, what's, what's fish meal? What's, you know, that's just crushed up bones and crushed up crap that uh, more than likely the fish wouldn't even eat, you know, in the wild. Uh, but this, you know, obviously they won't eat this in the wild either, but they will eat uh, a lot of protein and whatnot. And f they'll get folic acids and this and that. That's what uh, all this stuff incorporates. So, um, so it's really, really good for them. Makes them grow fast. The angelfish eat it. The, uh, the discus absolutely go nuts for it. Um, only thing I would not uh, give this to would be like African cichlids. They need a more of a uh, more of a uh, uh, plant matter diet, but that's what it's going to look like right there. And basically, that's what it's going to look like, you know, in your freezer. It doesn't have to be real big. And you can just break off chunks, you know, and throw them in your tank, and uh, you're good to go. Basically, walk away, and uh, the fish will do the rest, man. And you see that they do just just fine. And I guarantee you, this is actually one of the best things that you can feed to them. So you see how big those angels are? They're only a few months old, man. Really. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I got to finish this up. I can't be playing around on here. Take it easy. Bye.